hello everyone welcome back to another exciting video so today we are going to try out a 10 years old xiaomi device today we have xiaomi with me note 2 so today we are going to figure out is this device is still usable or not so let's get started first of all let's talk about the design and build quality the device is very lightweight and it is still looks good actually uh, looks like a modern phone although it was released back in 2015 so on the right hand side we do get like volume rockers and power button left hand side nothing on the bottom we have a micro usb port which does support otg and also a microphone here on top we get 3.5 mm headphone jack and ir blaster here in the front we do get a 5.5 inch full hd ips lcd display the display is really good actually it's over 400 ppi it's really good and also we get some sensors 5 megapixel front facing camera pretty decent and also our earpiece on the back we are getting a 13 megapixel rear facing camera the performance from the 13 megapixel rear facing camera actually amazing for a 2015 phone and we will come to the camera later on and also we are getting a flash here here we have a me logo and also the speaker is here not on the like side so if you the back cover is still removable on this device uh, if you open that you will see two sim card tray and this device does support a 4g lte and also we got a micro sd card slot so you will get micro sd card slot only if you buy a chinese variant of this device you will get a micro sd card slot but if you buy a global variant you will not get any micro sd card slot so i got this device as a locked device and i just flash a global image on this device so currently it is running on a global image so i can use play store and everything so let's unlock the device so as you can see here the display looks good actually let me reduce the brightness so the display looks good and it is very usable still usable although the brightness is not really that great like today's phone but suddenly the display is pretty usable for consuming music and everything so Currently, this device is running on Mi Y9, as you can see, 9.6 global variant, and it's on Android 5.1. So, under the code, the processor here is actually MediaTek Helio 10X. So, the processor is uh, octa-core processor. For 2015, it was a really great processor, but for 2024, it isn't actually. And also, we are getting 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage and also we are getting a micro sd card slot here so the performance here actually as you can see it's like working pretty smoothly and the theme you are seeing here is actually theme of uh, mi y5 i just downloaded it from the theme store of xiaomi and frankly said the performance from the mi y9 on this device actually is working flawlessly i haven't faced any kind of issue it's pretty smooth everything runs perfectly fine as you can see it's pretty damn smooth although it is only are having 2 gig of ram but the performance is really good and it works perfectly fine i did take pictures and videos with this and using it a uh, few days now as you can see uh, my sim card is there it's like 4g lte and the wi-fi is connected and going with uh, android 5.1 the 5.1 is not really that much usable nowadays so if i go to play store not much you can do with android 5 actually so as you can see the play store is updated now if i try to download something let me try retro arc so maybe some of the games you cannot download the like old title but if you really want those you can directly download by browser and just installing the apk file but here you can get some of the older applications uh, we can install facebook Lite here and i think we can do some uh, emulation here so if you have one of these device the display is really big so you can like keep the controller and you can use this device for emulation so retroarch is really good software for emulation rather than that if you're going with the social media we have facebook Lite here uh, no messenger or the main version of facebook you cannot download but the messenger is, is working here as you can see here but last time i tried it was not there instagram Lite is there TikTok is there so as you can see here even whatsapp is also there so you can use these things and it's still pretty much usable a uh, few things are not here 
YouTube main application doesn't work instead of using YouTube here I use uh, new pipe which is I think one of the best alternative of YouTube where I can watch YouTube videos and also it can run like background so also I can download there is no ads also so it is kind of a all-in-one application for me and it's a pretty good one actually for older device like this I think this one is the best one to go with if you want to watch YouTube videos other than that um, the browser is already outdated I have installed one browser here which is BIO browser and it is working perfectly fine and I used only this browser actually almost all my phones I have installed this browser and it works perfectly fine no issue with that if you are talking about the performance here actually the, the performance is really good for a 2015 device it is still usable uh, if you want to sacrifice some of the application and other things pretty much usable and I have been using for a few days now uh, I haven't faced any kind of issue actually and the speaker is also pretty good pretty loud I think this was this 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 was a really good phone back then I personally started using Xiaomi from from Xiaomi Note 4 after that I upgraded to Xiaomi Note 8 now I have Xiaomi Note 6 Pro also so I have two three Xiaomi phones right now and my experience with Xiaomi phones actually really good usually I don't really use me UI I usually install custom ROM on it and I'm going to try out custom ROM on this device too uh, later on you will see some videos coming out about the custom ROM of this device but uh, the main issue with this device actually you can't really upgrade this device to like Android 8, 9, 10 and like that maybe there is few ROMs available about uh, Android 7, 6 or Android 8 so I'm going to find out some ROMs and I will upload some custom ROM videos about this device so what I personally like about this device actually although it's a 10 years old device is the camera it got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera which still takes amazing pictures I will put some pictures there and also the front facing camera is still pretty much usable so the camera as you can see it launch and it works as you can see you can focus we do have a HDR and if you go to option here so we do have few other things like uh, panorama timer audio focus and straighten beauty HHT and scene and the manual mode doesn't offer much uh, like today's device like we do have like control over white balance and also rather than that nothing is there and also if you go to video section the video is also like 1080p video it works perfectly fine and the front facing camera can shoot up to 720p video so for a 10 years old device this device actually working perfectly fine the camera focus really fast actually and works perfectly fine let me show you so as you can see here it does focus and so we can control white balance here directly so as you can see here if you tap and like reduce I can like control the white balance directly from here rather than that there is nothing much going on the camera is still pretty much capable you can use it for document scanning or even for quick shot this camera is still capable And going with the battery backup one of the disappointing part of this device actually is the battery because of the processor is media processor the processor media processor was not really great back then so it consumes a lot of power and battery the battery here is actually a quite respective 3000 mAh but uh, it doesn't perform well although the device here actually is pretty new the one I'm using right now but the battery backup is not really that great it could be because of the UI or the processor or because the device is pretty old because of that but the battery is not really great this device is pretty much usable as a secondary device although if anyone wants to use this device as a primary device still they can use it is pretty usable it's smooth uh, obviously you can't really do any kind of gaming here I did install this jungle run here it also struggled to run the jungle run uh, the temple run and other games are not available those games doesn't support android 5 as i said um if you really want like games and other things you can download the older version of these games directly using browser rather than that you are getting like almost many titles here even the free fire is also available 
I really doubt that it can run Free Fire here. Obviously, this device is not for gaming. You can't really do any kind of gaming here. Uh, but as a secondary device, I can really uh, suggest if someone wants to buy one of these and want to try out Xiaomi's older devices. I think it's perfectly usable device. And I got mine for about $7. So quite a good deal for me. And it works perfectly fine, then I don't really have any issue. I can watch YouTube video. I'm going to try out RetroArch later on, so I haven't installed it. I think it, it will be a really good uh, emulation device. You can do like Nintendo and other older games you can play rather than like installing these big games like Temple Run and other things. You can like play a lot of games like installing the RetroArch. So it's, it's still usable and if really anyone wants to buy, I think you can buy one of these it's still pretty much usable as a secondary device so that's all about xiaomi's redmi note 2 and pretty decent device still usable and that's all about it so thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one